and let us all that we can to build a better future. Yesterday was probably a big day for uh, Juniper, who's also known as Shoe on Head. She has a big following on Twitter and on YouTube because apparently she was lumped in with a whole big NBC fear video about social media and controlling social media. Yeah. And the thing is, for a lot of people who still watch cable television or either that, watch corporate media on YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook, we're still given the same neoliberal uh, bland soup that's poisoning all of our minds. And the thing is, we are living in a day and age of censorship. These, these past previous weeks, myself and Daniel have talked about how Facebook, big tech, uh, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, corporate media are, are all working together to silence independent media and to control what you can see on your social media platforms. That's why we promote Odyssey and Rockfin so much because at least there they respect free thinking media, free speech, but YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook are in the super fast rush of basically going after a lot of content creators, policing what you can and cannot see, taking down Facebook pages or Twitter groups that are in support of a cause that maybe goes up against the neoliberal narrative narrative and this video it's three minutes long there's a scene in there that i'm going to ask you to pause that phase so when i say pause it because i it's very important that we capture that screen we, we noticed that they uh lied yeah they lied <laughs> in corporate media they lied shoe on head is cool i just want to say that but yesterday might have been a big moment for shoe on Head because now corporate media has recognized who she is so congratulations shoe on head if you haven't seen this video uh, you could find a link to it in the show notes and description box below, but we're going to play it for all of you on YouTube, Odyssey, and Rockfin. Let's and play it. really quick before we do it, I want yeah. like everyone as you're watching this to apply the same question logic to TV. Yes, and again, pay very close attention, folks. We're going to keep our it's commentary. It's a very specific yeah. part we want to show yeah. you. Yeah, we want, we want to pause it at a very specific part. Uh, Faze, please push play. Last name shares a house with her mother. Where is she now? Is she in the house with you now? Yeah, I think she's downstairs um, with my son. But social media is tearing them apart. The thing she sends me, I feel uh, that I can't second. trust her if she's my mother. I just want to make the point that um, before the internet, I was just barely old enough to sort of remember that period where it wasn't ubiquitous. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people, even more so, I think that there were a lot of times where what TV channel you watched also tore the family apart. And that was pretty common knowledge. It yeah. still exists today, but I guess it's brand new. What do I know? All right, let's play it. She says a year ago, her mother started consuming right-wing content on social media. This election was a military-grade sting operation. And is now sharing videos about QAnon and anti-Semitic theories. Her mother declined to speak with us. It's not that I think she's my enemy. It's that I'm afraid that she's being used as a weapon against me. Researchers say this happens every day. So we performed an unscientific test. I took my Facebook account that had no followers mm -hmm. or friends. I'm going to follow the top three right-leaning pages plus some dog content. Let's see what happens. My Maybe colleague Melanie point. created a new account and did the same, but she went left seven days. A lot of people just commending President Biden's job so far. And what the hell did Joe Biden just say part 14? On Facebook and YouTube, clicking on whatever their algorithms suggest. Melanie's feed stayed with the issues at first. Bernie Sanders chairs hearing on the high cost of prescription, prescription drugs. But by day three, it was a lot of one thing. It's a lot from Occupy Democrats. That's kind of the dominating force on my page right now. And mine just went more and more extreme, recommending new influencers. Now they're throwing me at Dan Bongino. Conspiracy theories by day four. Bigfoot believers. Really? Nonstop anger by day five. Leftists are becoming the racists. Same with Melanie's. So the other day somebody right, pause it, me pause a link it, pause to it, right here, right here, right here. Pause it, pause it, please. Okay, right. this pause is it. big. Because this remember, they said that they made an account for each of them yeah. that specifically they're training using the algorithm. And, and focus, focus on Daniel real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. It's, it's big. I can't air. believe they missed this. So their entire point of this quote unquote unscientific experiment is we built these accounts. Mm -hmm. We're just going, feeding them a little bit of left leaning content yeah. or right leaning content. And then we're letting the algorithm build. There's an issue with this specific scene. So the thing is, Keen eyed eagles, especially on Shoe and Head's Twitter page, did some screenshots of this, and I saw this too. Now, again, shout out to Shoe on Head. 
Looks very nice in that video. She's speaking her mind. If you ever get a chance to check out our YouTube channel, go ahead and do it. And the thing is, if you look at the bottom, again, that video is from 2018. Now, it's twenty. It's an old video, but whatever. Well, it's whatever. Fine. It's an old video. But if you look in the far... Look, look where... Remember, uh, they corner. said they made an account specifically yeah. that's trained to build this algorithm. Look what's happening. There's no one logged in. No one signed in they, at they all. They just searched this video. No one signed... Okay, so so here's the thing. So for some of you who don't know, this is very important. Let's, uh, let's keep this image as it is right now. Um... You can set up your browser to where, you know, when you close your windows, all of them, your, your, your web browser forgets your history. So mm -hmm. if you are logged on to a YouTube through your Gmail, uh, your, your Gmail account will remember everything that you've watched or followed, whether you're watching anime, whether you're watching science fiction, history, or is it at news and politics, right? They look for this video. They look for it somebody says, to be controversial. It does, it's not logged in. They can't be using the algorithm. It says sign in right yeah. there. Yeah, they notice can't have the an algorithm sign build in. Like Again, that. Miguel H. Great that you noticed it too. Notice the sign in. So for this, for this, so they're like, oh, alone, we're just randomly looking up video. We're not. We're just letting the algorithm, the, but we're doing an assigned an account that we're not signed into. The algorithm is on one hand a blind attack dog. It's also a blind guiding dog, and so. If you are not signed in and you're looking for something, this algorithm is right now being created. So they look they look specifically for someone to stand out, and they pick Shu on head, also known as Juniper, yes, uh, to uh, basically be an example for this ridiculous propaganda fear piece towards YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, how it's dividing people and everything else. Look, so the corporate media, corporate media. It's not YouTube or content creators on YouTube, or be they on the left. Uh, or in the right or in the center. It's corporate media that's caused this divide. It's corporate media that's caused people to not trust the establishment or trust the, or, or anything they're seeing in the news anymore. It's corporate media that's once again doing this fear propaganda. This video, again, this is from the early days, Shoe on Head having your YouTube channel, 2018. It's 20, it's 20 freaking 21 right now. A lot has happened in like three years. And they literally picked a video that was like an anti-conservative... I, every, again, hey, NBC, you can email us if we're wrong about this, but this seems pretty clear cut that you're going against exactly what you said you were doing. Also, the fact that they would have been on an account for a week and all the other videos they were showing, there's no way that they would just have shoe on head recommendations on the side panel. We know because we exist on YouTube that half of those would be CNN or NBC. Yes. Anyway, and and so again, it, this was all signed in. So even those Facebook pages, the thing is, Facebook work. It's the Facebook algorithm is far more different than what you would yeah. see on YouTube. Of course, there are some similarities, but again, it's very important. Let's actually get get that video again because I want yeah. I, I, I want to see I want everyone to see that sign in. They had to look for a video. They did this on purpose. And I want to remind people the reason that this is such a the, okay, so if the point of this entire segment that they're doing is, hey, we're letting the algorithm take our path and drive us to content, and you go, okay, then you're just dealing with YouTube, but then you should be having a, a built-up algorithm. That if The fact that that's not what's happening because they have not signed in, because they, there's, yeah, they've not signed in, means that this entire segment is based on a false premise. They're not letting the algorithm take them down this path. They're finding a path regardless of the algorithm. So the entire point of this story is moot uh -huh. because it's all built. It, again, their entire thing is, yeah, we're just hands off. We're just letting the algorithm just to show how crazy things get. What's really funny is with this video, the fact is, again, the sidebar is just shoe on head content, which you would not get unless you were just watching shoe on head and nothing else. Yeah, those are the first. In fact, the first three videos besides the main video that we're seeing right now that, that's, that's on pause are shoe on head videos. And those videos are from two years ago, two years ago. So, yeah. you know, and so that means that this segment is just trying to attack social media. That's uh, all this is. A couple other things, too, I want to bring up. What this segment also does, when it started with that woman saying, oh, I can't talk to my mother anymore, it causes further divide because then it adds in more of that, oh, wow, the news is showing yeah. me this. So once again, my perceived notion of what I think is fact, yeah. the news is feeding me something that I want to hear and thus is going to let me stay in my safe space, my echo chamber, my bubble, which is why yeah. we've been against people being deplatformed and censored on social media. Yes, that even includes AJ and... 
Donald Trump. Now, are those two people people I don't like? Yeah, absolutely. But as soon as you start censoring people, who else is put on the chopping block? Whistleblowers, uh, independent media, progressives, leftists, independents, libertarians. Everyone's then put on the chopping block, which is why we said – if you start censoring people, if you start shadow banning people, if you start yeah. deplatforming people, you're creating the you're making the problem far, far worse. You're adding gasoline to the fire. Right. You're creating bigger echo chambers. OK, so watch this. The account that I'm watching right now only checks out. It's specific. It's my it's my Daniel Upker account. It only shows I only watch on this um, left well, independent media stuff. I just kind of want to get an idea. And mostly almost entirely hard lens media because that's what I'm logged into every day when we do chat suggested page first NBC one of our videos another one of our videos Forbes Convo Couch uh, Justin Jackson stream Secular Talk The Hill NBC most of the things that are being suggested and I don't watch NBC content on this account specifically for this reason it still forwards to NBC so you have to really try hard to get the suggested, I'm actually more interested in the suggested tabs yeah. because that's even harder to pull off. One thing too, before we continue playing the rest of the video, uh, uh, hold on, I want to get, yeah, Chet's, Chet's mom four says this, this really sends out. The oh, point ah! is to trick people into thinking leftists who want Medicare for all are equal to QAnon yeah. and flat earthers. Let's play the rest of this video. We just wanted to point that out to all of you. A Wikipedia made for and by conservatives. And it's pretty f bad. And by the end of the week, a steady diet of fear. The world looks very dangerous. It, it is, YouTube. buddy. Violent robbery caught on camera. Woman fires shots at home intruders. Facebook had no comment. YouTube says that recent changes mean watch time of borderline content from recommendations has dropped by over 70% in the U.S. But researchers say the algorithms are geared to grab us. We click on extreme content, so the system gives us more extreme content. Over time, that can actually give you the impression that some things that are more obs uh, obscure or extreme are very much in the normal sphere of conversation. Wait, pause it, pause it, pause the most it. successful... Can I give an example of that? I don't know. Mainstream news saying that YouTube and all these other, and all these other platforms are filled with nothing but extremist content and that the second that you type in three left or right leaning people in a search term with or without dogs will lead you on a dark, 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 dark path. That seems like a similar thing. Yeah. Influencers are the most extreme. On Twitter, 73% of posts about politics are created by about 6% of Twitter users. And those 6% of Twitter users have very extreme views. Jerusha now belongs to an online group for adults who've lost loved ones to politics on social media. It makes it sit 10 times worse knowing that this is happening like everywhere in this country right now. Jake Ward, NBC News, Oakland, California. Don't hear but news, news yeah. is uniting. All news channels unite everyone. All right, so let's look at the big problem that, that we're seeing from this segment. It's once again going to add more fuel for those that are calling for big tech to quote unquote censor more people. And the thing is, these systems are already put in place. Look, there are trigger words that we can't say on YouTube because it will get our videos flagged, demonetized, strike. Well, I mean, anything or any, any, anything can happen to us. And as an independent media network, uh, we have to be careful how we talk about the issues and what we can talk about. And that's why we leave a lot of our controversial stories for, um, you know, uh, Odyssey and Rockfin. Because, again, YouTube and Instagram, Facebook and Twitter have made it very clear there's only one narrative they want. On Twitter, articles by the Gray Zone or Mint Press News are deemed, hey, careful, you got to be careful before you share it. Anything from RT is labeled Russian propaganda or At Russian literally state media. Case Study Q QB, who's only thing that he does on Twitter is yeah. take mainstream news and puts them in clips that everyone can access is somehow making controversial content for literally doing what people on TV are saying. That just shows where the algorithm is. Yeah. Uh, one other thing, too. If we're talking about, you know, people being afraid of losing their loved ones to politics, you know, politics shouldn't dictate your life. We're all going to have opinions and points of view. 
I get it. And yeah, there are people I know that voted for Trump, but I mean, you just can't like what, what no, we we look, elections come and go. Family is important, and the thing is, what's causing this divide even further, especially for, ma for families, is a video piece like that seen on MSNBC that's going to be shared on social media. And I hope enough people realize to the fact that we point out that on that YouTube clip right there, they weren't signed in. They weren't signed in. They had to look for a video, someone controversial. They picked uh, one of Shu on Head's earlier videos, which is stupid. And because they barely let her talk, and it was a quick video... I can only assume that the uh, that the in inclination they were trying to pull is because if you don't know who Shuan Head is, is oh it's just this like pretty young woman who doesn't know what she's talking about. I can't think of any other reason they would specifically pick someone for that purpose. Yeah, 